What would you do if you were traveling together with your partner and you had nowhere to stay? Let's say you had no money and you had nowhere to stay for the night and then one time you meet this really nice couple and they say, come back and stay at our place. Only just you don't tonight. invite someone back yeah. to your house Say you can share your room and then flipping go and have a... This week we've got a special treat for you. We have recorded our audio podcast for you to join in on a very private conversation that we'd like to share with you. So sit back and enjoy all the shenanigans that have been happening throughout the week with Liz and Bry. It's a drama coming to you from Taranaki, New Zealand. Hello. Daddy, I love you. My mother thanks you. All right, Mr. DeMille, I'm ready for my close-up. Hello and welcome to It's a Drama Podcast. I'm Liz. And I'm Brian. And today we bring you a very, very, very special show. The reason it is so special is because we've pushed the boat out and we're actually videoing this podcast. I know, this is just a regular podcast, but it's now a video podcast. Yes, it is. Yeah, yeah. we've decided to just, just for this once, just yeah. put the camera on because someone said, oh... Why don't you just video, you just self, just sit in chatting. And we just said, okay, because I know we do a, a, another video thing for YouTube, like usually, but we're, there we're like, that's a proper video thing, isn't it? Where we're like looking at the camera and stuff. But this is just literally just a camera facing us while we have a chat. Yeah, we're not looking at the camera, are we? No, Bri. No. We're not looking at the camera. <laughs> I'm not looking at the camera, Liz. I'm looking at you because you. this is the thing with an audio podcast. You need... That eye contact, which you don't get when you're looking at the camera because mm. you're not looking at each other. Occasionally you'll twist oh, like that away from yeah, the microphone yeah. to look. But this way, it's just a podcast for you at home. So today we have got a very, very special show for you. We're going to be talking about houses. We've, we're house mad this week, aren't we, Bri? Nothing but houses we've been talking this week. And we'll tell yeah. you all about that in a minute. Yeah. We're going to be talking about privacy and the weird things that people get up to, Bri. There's some weird stuff going on out there and i just really think that i should bring it to the world of yeah. you know well we think we're weird so but there's even weirder people no than but us. honestly there's much more weird yeah. stuff than us and we're also going to be sharing with you because me and bry we're going away on our holidays aren't yeah. we bry we need a break don't we, we need us? a break and we're going away on our holidays but it hasn't just been as easy as like oh yeah just pick up the you know airbnb and just book something you know, it used to be easy when you could just pick up the thompson's brochure remember mm. thompson's uh, they were the holiday people yeah. they? in the uk or just go down the travel agent i know and say i want to go give, away give for two weeks where brochures. can i go i know yeah anyway we've had a right shenanigans going on the last couple of weeks haven't we by about trying to get away and trying to book somewhere well, talking of getting away Liz, just while you're on that getaway thing it even got to the point that we were thinking about going away separately oh no i'm still going to do that oh are you yeah definitely oh, right. you didn't tell me about that no, I told you I last thought, well, week. That, that, that's what this next break was all about. It's no, going to I'm be... going away with you on this break. But you are now going to do what you said and go. Oh God, yeah, definitely. At the weekends, you're going to go away by yourself. No, not every weekend. But, but just no. Hang on, don't try and make out now that you're just against the Premier the League ID. weekends. No, because we talked the other day. Hang on, now, yeah. uh, let me just tell him this. So we're talking about the other day, <laughs> and I think it's a really good idea for couples. Yeah. Especially not couples, to live together. No, Brian. What? Especially couples like us yeah. who work together, yeah. live together, do everything together. Basically, we're each other's best friend, aren't we? Like you know, we spend twenty four hours a day together. And I said to you down the cafe the other day, I think it would be good to just have like separate holidays where you just each of you just go away for a couple of days yeah. on your own. Because we were talking about retreats at one time, weren't we, and stuff like that. Mm. Just to get away and not talk to are you anyone. not are you not for that idea anymore are you oh, just, no, no. Are you, did you just say yes to make please me and then when you get just in front of the podcast really you're just you gonna thought. be like show me up yeah i just thought see let's see how far liz can go and it was like all the way that i will go away on my own I no thought, okay. no we did talk about it <laughs> and we can talk about that in a future podcast because yeah. to be honest though but i think last week you were just really getting on my nerves and i just really needed some just time on use. my own yeah. yeah i just thought oh no but i like you again now Right. Because you've done, you just made that pumpkin soup, and now, <laughs> you know, just you've been really good this week. So now I'm going to go away with you. All so right. yeah, we're going to be talking to you about how we've planned this trip away that we're going to, um, and for the very for the for the fans for the true true fans who love this show so much, we've got a special special treat for you at the end of the show we where we're going to share with. Shall I say what it is? Or shall I just leave it like, you know, like a bit of a cliffhanger thing? Uh, yeah, you can say what it is. Yeah, we've got a special treat for you. We're going to give you a bit of the outtake. You know, the, um, what's it called? The It's an outtake, Liz. No, where you make a mistake. Blooper. Bloopers. I don't really like blooper. I just like outtakes. Well, we're going to share with you a piece of the audio book that I've been recording with Bry. And it's, it's one of the, you know, where I couldn't, where I couldn't get it right. Whatever that's yeah. called, a blooper. It is a blooper. Yeah. But it's a, so, fun, it's a funny blooper. 
How have you been? How have you been? You at home, how have you been? You know what, we've really missed you. We This week, we were like, we've got so much to share. Like I say, all this has been going on with the houses. And it's not until we sit down in front of the microphone that you can just go, let's just, let's just I know, talk about but it. it. It's funny, isn't it? Because, you know, you've got to get everything set up to... We, have, we don't just have a studio, do we, at home? I'd love a studio. I know. I keep thinking that spare room with the single bed in, mm. let's just make it a studio. Yeah. Because... We, nobody likes us and nobody comes to stay anyway. I've just got to say as well, if you are listening with children, this episode might not be that suitable. I'm going to tell you a story later on that's a bit huh? rude. And so I don't want any little children getting upset. So if, you're, if you've got little ears listening with you, it might not be such a suitable episode. But so now, now they'll want to listen, won't they? I know they will. That's yeah. the trick. See, I'm doing that thing that people do, you know, like, you know, just... It's like, it's like when you say you can't do something and that's all yeah. you want to do. Right. So what we're going to be talking about, first of all, Bri. Yeah. I had a look up on the internet right. about the weirdest houses in the world. Because in a minute, we're going to talk to you about our things with houses that we've come across the last week or so. But this, oh, you've got a bumblebee, bumblebee. bumblebee bumbling around your head. I've got a honeybee and a bumblebee. We're sitting outside in our garden in New Zealand, on the north, in the North Island of New Zealand. And it's winter. Yeah. But only, it's, well, it's, it's sunny. It's only two days of winter left. Yeah. And but it is sunny. And it'll be spring. And like I say, if you're listening on YouTube, you'll be able to see us, see, see our lovely yeah. faces. And the spring flowers that are from your mum's garden. Mm. So yeah, weird houses. I've got, you're going to love this, Bri, because I know that you like weird stuff. Yeah. The four weirdest houses in the world. Because what the reason I looked it up is because one of the house sits that we were going to go for mm. last week yep. was really, really it, out it, there, wasn't it, It was it, really weird. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to tell. I'm going to say about that in a minute. But first of all, I thought it'd be nice just to give you a little bit of a treat because I know you like knowing about stuff because you don't get on the internet much and see stuff. No. The four weirdest houses in the world. Ready? Yep. Number one, and you're going to like this, Brian, because you like toilets and I like toilets. You know, right? Which is just book. a toilet. <laughs> Basically, an upside down toilet. But oh, Brian, have you been reading my notes? No, I was just thinking that's what you could do with the toilet. No, okay. House number one is from South Korea. Right. Right. And it's called the Toilet House. <laughs> they're a bit wacky in Korea, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, they are. They are. Yeah. What is it? We went, it went As if they're not wacky enough. They I have know. to go and build a house. It's a, it's a giant toilet. They actually make good films nowadays, don't they? Because mm. that was a big thing about 12 months ago. It was t Korean films. So the designer of this house, yeah. he built this house. He designed it because he wanted to bring hygiene awareness to the world. Because, oh. you know, like when COVID was on and everything and everyone was like really dis unhygienic yeah. and everything was spreading. So his idea was to build a house in the shape of a toilet. Right. And it is. I'm going to I'll put the link in the description. All right. And people can go and see the picture. It's just a giant toilet. Well, how, how does that work? What is the seat the roof? I don't know. Yeah. Has it got a system? But when you look at the picture of it, <laughs> when you look at the picture of it, it's just like a massive basin like yeah. you know where you sit down on the toilet. And then the this bit that comes down, you know, the the, the yeah. base of the toilet, the, the legs, foot. the foot, that's yeah. it, is just like where everyone lives. And I think what you do is you go up to the rim of the toilet and then you like look out like this, like if you want to see out to Korea. Is there no windows in it? Yeah, there is windows in it. I, yeah, there are windows on it, on it yeah. Wow. Oh, yeah. yeah. Imagine that, Brian. <laughs> do you know what would be really good? What? You know, like when you used to have your plumbing business, imagine yeah. if you if we had a toilet house. <laughs> And then everyone, you'd get so much business because it'd be like, oh yeah, just use Brian, the, the bloke from the well, toilet what if, house. What if a giant's walking by? <laughs> yeah, I know, yeah. So I like that, do you? Yeah. And then picking what, up... Is there a toilet roll holder? And then picking up on your second house number two. This is... Yeah. I don't know about this. When I looked at the picture, it just made me feel weird. It's from Germany, yeah. which obviously, well, obviously, you know... obviously, Germans. All you know. weird things come from Germany. Yeah. An upside down house. They're always a bit wacky, aren't they, Germans? <laughs> An upside down house, right, right? So yeah. what it is, imagine, what's it called, that film? Wizard of Oz. You yeah. know when Wizard of Oz house turned upside down? Did it? Yeah, when the wind came and it blew the house upside down. Right. And now the roof is on the floor. Yeah. And the floor is on the, is, is it's the roof. Yeah. yeah. And that's what the house looks like. So when you go in, I'm going to read you what it says. It's an inverted house. The sofas, the beds... The plants, everything, are flipped so you are standing on the ceiling. Yeah. 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 But, so, but <laughs> how can you sit down then on your sofa? Well, it's there on, it's on, I don't it's, know. It's there on the floor. 
Why would you down. build an upside down house? What's wrong with you Germans? I don't know. Because why would you do that? Unless, I don't know. Yeah. Because like all that would be on the floor would be some sunken lights or, you know, like a, you know, like a chandelier stuck up the wrong way. It said there's a fan, right? Yeah. But because the fan Chops is your on, legs off. Yeah. Basically, you go like this. <laughs> you go like this, Bri. Go like that. And push the fan around with your, with your hand. But silly. it made me feel, you know, like, you know, like that Alice in Wonderland thing where yeah. I, I don't know, I know he was on, was he on heroin or something? He was on some sort of. <laughs> <laughs> he was on hallucin- hallucinogenics. That's it, yeah. yeah. Well, he was weird, wasn't or, he? The or, guy I think who wrote it would that. be LSD. <laughs> 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 heroin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but do you know what I mean, right? When yeah. you read Alice in Wonderland, I used to hate it when the kids said, can we watch Alice in Wonderland? I just know, freaky I, I that ne- film. I never ever liked it. I know. Tessa loved it, didn't she? I know. Yeah. And again, it's one of those things that you're watching it and it's sort of like uh, maybe on, freaking you out yeah, a little bit. Maybe you're on your mushrooms on toast, maybe then you'd enjoy it, mm. like, you know. But that's what this house is like. So again, I'm going to put a link. I'll put a link in the description yeah. so you can just click it and go and have a but look. Talking about upside down houses, I mean, they, they, I remember reading a book once. Uh, it was set in Hong Kong and a torture was they, they'd made this room that everything was askew upside you know slightly mm. upside down and to the side mm. the, the floor sloped and everything was the wrong yeah. way to totally and utterly disorientate you and it was a form of torture oh. and they would leave you in there to slightly drug you a little bit so you'd talk like you know oh. you why would think, that make you talk well we saw something the other day didn't we when we were looking on those trusted house sets and there was a, a, a skew whiff room and just I just thought no that was Airbnb oh, it was Airbnb yeah that's wasn't in it? New that's Zealand right. there yeah, was a house like, and it's like they've just put it on a skew haven't they and right. stuck it in the lake or something yeah and it's like the the, the floor goes mm. upside the wrong way and it's just like why would you want to get up in the morning and think oh this is really nice in here you'll like this one Brian number three in Wales this one in yes, Wales in what sort of house do you think would be in Wales that is very unusual in Wales I would think it would probably be I don't know made of coal yeah, not cl- you're close. It's not made of coal. It's a hobbit house. Right. So based on the one in New Zealand. Yes. You know, it's a house. And you, you know that famous picture that you always see of New Zealand, like the hobbit house. And it's yeah. got that little green the, door. The round door. Yeah. Yep. And it's exactly like that. It's got a roof made of grass. Whoops. Oh. So a roof made, roof made of grass. It's made of oak. Hang on. Stones, mud, everything recycled. They get all the water from the stream. Right. They get all their electricity from solar panels. You'd like that. Yeah. I think I'd like that. See, I didn't think you could do that in the UK. But well, you the, can in you, Wales. Yeah, but you're only allowed a certain size solar panel in, in the UK. I was just talking to someone last year about that. I well, thought, this, oh, is, the, this is the Hobbit House in Wales. Yeah. And it's literally, it is, it's just so pretty. They've got that little blue door and, you know, the little windows. Yeah. But the only thing is... But why is it weird? Well... Do you think it's normal to live in the side of a hill with a with a grass roof? Well, some people do. They remember Grandy Zines. That's the, you know, they would build a... No, but this is weird because it's made of all oh, natural things stuff. and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Everything in there and is the made from yeah. recycled. Who lives up the stream? What do you mean? Well, like, you never know with a stream, do you? There could be someone piddling in it up the road. <laughs> it could be that good night. <laughs> all recycled, Bri. You'd like that. Because yeah. you're always going on about how you, well, our electricity bill is extortionate. Now yeah. you wish you'd had the money to pay for some solar panels to go on our roof. Yeah. What it is, it's just, yeah, it's it's your return on investment, Liz. Mm. Yeah. And the environment. So I thought that was that was sort of like sitting on my favourite list, yeah. but only in the winter because I thought I wouldn't be able to stand it in the sun. It'd you know, in dark, the summer, it? it would be dark. Yeah, it would dark be. and dismal. And yeah. you're just sitting there, aren't you? You can't turn the tap on because it's like someone's weeing in the water up the stream. Yeah. And you think, oh, that's... that's a, that, it tastes a bit tangy, that water. Yeah. <laughs> all right number four and this you are going to freak out about this and this kind of leads into the house sit that i'm going to tell you about in a minute first of all i want you to tell me which country you think this is from this this is really weird by yeah this is a transparent house or greenhouse everything that you see in that house is transparent made of glass really no walls what about the toilet no roof yeah. Nothing. No, everything. Everything. Every. I don't know. The toilet's not made of glass, is it? Well, you said everything. No, made but of I glass. mean the walls and the and well, the what, roof. That's what I mean. The not as in. It's a transparent the pan. house. Yeah. Where do you think it's made? What country would deliver up a transparent house? Holland. <laughs> no, You're I Dutch. know. I know you think <laughs> I that. I want your you? body. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> look at what I've got. Yeah, like, take, take a look at this. <laughs> No, and this surprised me, Bri. It really surprised me. Okay. It surprised me in the sense that we only talked about this last week. 
And I think this race of people are... Race of people? Is that the right word? Oh, I imagine so. Well, you know, this group of this, the people from this country. Is that what you say? Yep. Is that not what you say? Oh, dear. I said the wrong thing. Oh, yeah. Have no, I? No, just, yeah, the citizens of that country. Okay, a citizen. Well, what, I thought that meant race. Anyway, the citizens of that country are quite prudish. So that'll give you another clue. Any idea? Um, Prudish people... Well, the English are prudish, aren't oh, no, they? No, no, maybe they're not prudish. Yeah. Maybe I shouldn't say that. Now I've gone and all cocked it all up. I've said yeah. race, I've said prudish. <laughs> <laughs> going to be banned now, aren't I? <laughs> Just got to mention the... Uh... Japan, Bri. Oh. Japan. Yeah, a maybe. house yeah, made they are, of glass. They're, they're normally sort of like the neighbours. They don't... I mean, it must be in the middle of nowhere because... It... I'm sorry, but... It is not in the middle of nowhere, actually. Really? It's on a street. And the picture that you see, I'll put a link to it. The picture that you... <laughs> The picture that you see, there's a guy riding past on his bike looking in the windows. Yeah, and he's in the bath. Well, what do you think of that? A house with absolutely no privacy whatsoever. And well, I'm talking no privacy. No pri- well, do you know what? When when you're in like a city, like where Tess lives, she she's, lives on a little penthouse mm. apartment, doesn't she, in, in, in Wellington. And you can just see in everyone's room. Yeah, that's different though. But, that's just but because the, the lights are on. Though, no, that you can only see in their front room. This is a house. Yeah. So if we were living in it, me, you, Sunny, and Tess, yeah, they'd have no privacy. Yeah. So they go to their room. Their room is made of glass. Our room is made of glass. That is weird. Yeah, but what's I'm saying? So Sorry, is, the, is the shower weird. is made of glass, and yes. the shower room yes. and the toilet room are made of glass. Yes. Well, maybe I don't know. I mean, I haven't yeah. been in and looked at the toilet, have I? Why are you obsessed with toilets? Because Why we are you started thinking this, about that? We started with toilets, so let's keep the theme going <laughs> of the toilet podcast. Well, I don't know about the toilet thing, but I'm just saying maybe they would have had a little screen up inside. But yeah, the fact that the people from the street, just walking yeah. along, they can see everything. Now, I know that would bother you, I know because I know you well, and I know that you're, <sighs> you don't like things like that. Now, I wouldn't mind, but I know you, you would, would mind. mind. No, I wouldn't. You would last wouldn't. about 30 seconds in that house. No, and I wouldn't. Like, oh, no, you need to close the curtains. No, I don't oh, think no. I would, Guess actually. What? They're clear. I want to tell you a story. I've got to tell them the story about Mont Why? Right. And that's what this was leading on to, you see. Right. <laughs> because when I was thinking about the privacy thing, this yeah. is what got me thinking. I was thinking, oh, you know, because I like telling you stories and stuff. And I was like, what story have I got about privacy? And then I remembered. Do you remember when we went to Mont Yeah. So what it was is me and Brian were travelling in France. I, actually, I was working over there. I'd gone over to get a job. Um, we'd both gone over, but Brian had to go home because he had a job to do with his dad. And we didn't have anywhere to stay that night. Do you remember? No, and it was snowing outside. It was, it was freezing was, cold. Yeah. It was snowing in Montgenev in the French Alps. And we were in this bar. We had nowhere to stay. And I don't even know. Where were we going to stay? If he hadn't have asked, offered us his room, where would we have stayed? We'd have had to try and get into a hotel but we just didn't have any money no we didn't have any oh, money. literally down to our last nothing's sort of, changed yeah last time <laughs> I down eight, it, I think I had 80 80 pounds left or 80, 800 francs or whatever mm-hmm. it was it wasn't much anyway so we got talking to this this guy in a bar he was working there in fact he was working in the bar that I went on then to work in and myself but he said oh you know we said oh we've got nowhere to stay tonight and he said oh you can come back and stay at our place me and my girlfriend we've got you know we've got this we've got this flat this room you can stay with us and we said, oh, oh, you know, didn't we? Well, are you yeah. sure? Do you not mind? No, no. No, c'est, c'est bon, c'est bon. Come back, you know. It'll just, just, it's only for one night. It'll be absolutely fine. Yeah. But we were a bit tired as well, weren't we? We were tired. Mm. And he was staying on at work because he was finishing work to about, he was on at work till about 12 o'clock, wasn't he? So he said, here's the key. This is the address. Me and my girlfriend will come in later. You just go and make yourself at home. Yeah. <laughs> you know, <laughs> and everything will be fine. So me and Brian yeah. thought, oh, not, what a nice chap. A no, nice French but, chap. But he was. He, he was lovely. And he was, was from lovely. Marseille, wasn't he? Yeah, he was nice. I'm not, Brian, what? you're just looking at me as if like I'm being horrible. I'm, no, I'm not. I'm just saying he was a nice guy. Very nice yeah. race and very nice chap. Oh, he's French. <laughs> <laughs> like the French race. Anyway, so what I was saying is we go back to his apartment. <laughs> we opened up, we got the key, we opened the door. And we walked in, didn't we, Brian? And it was just one room. Yeah. It was one room with a double bed. It was a typical ski, um, what do they call it, like a ski chalet. Yeah. It? But but it literally, like, everybody stays in the same room. Yeah. 
Yeah. And it was I, don't, I know what the word you're looking for, studio. That's studio it. apartment. Yeah. But a ski studio yeah. apartment. Because yeah. it was like one room, wasn't it? And had a yeah. double bed and a little kitchenette along the back wall. And yeah. on the other side of the wall was a b- pair of bunk beds. Yeah. And he told us, didn't he? He said, you know, just t- yeah. go, help yourself, go in the bunk bed. So anyway, we thought, oh, well, this is a bit weird that we're sleeping in the same room. But never mind, beggars can't be choosers and all that. So we get in the bunk beds, don't we, Brian? Not together. Brian went on because this is. I'm, I'm on top. Even even back then, I wanted a separate <laughs> separate room. <laughs> so yeah, Brian goes on the top bunk bed, and I go on the bottom. I'm in the toilet. And um, we're just saying there, like you know, just laying there, and just talking. Oh, they'll be back in a minute. Anyway, we just drift off to sleep, don't we, Brian? Because it's nice and quiet. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? No, it's okay. Go That's on. all we did. We just drifted off to sleep. Yeah, we did drift off to sleep. Yeah. We had a good chat. We drifted off to sleep. Anyway, never never believe it. About an hour later, didn't we, Bri? We heard them come in. And I did, we didn't want to go, oh, hello, because it was like midnight. So we didn't want to go, you know, so we pretended to be asleep, didn't we, Bri? We did. And we came in, and they came in, and they must have seen us. They started giggling like school children, didn't they? Yeah, they did. They had little giggles. I mean, these they, they were adults. They weren't kids. He was about, he, he was old enough to know better. He was, he was at about, least 50. No, he was about 25, wasn't he? I <laughs> yeah, remember yeah. she was so beautiful. Yeah. She was lovely. Don't yeah. you remember? She had really lovely, dark, curly hair and really dark eyes. Anyway, so I'm laying there in my bunk bed and Bri's laying there in his bunk bed. We've got the covers pulled up under our chin and we're like this, like, you know, pretending to be asleep. Was her name Juliet? No, it wasn't, was it? But it was really French. I don't know. He was saying it a lot. I think, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> they get in the bed and, you know, there's that awkward silence where you think, please just go to sleep. And then we hear this. Oh, no, no, no. Juliette, Juliette. <laughs> and flipping heck, they started going for it, didn't they, Bri? It was hammer and tongs, wasn't it? It was. was. A lot of it slapping was. going on in that room. And they, honest to God, they went on and on and yep. she was having a good time and he was having a good time. <laughs> and then after it finished, it was like, okay, all right, can you just go to sleep? And then you did. Juliette. <laughs> and then it went on and on again. I have n- I tell you what, was it I give it the French. They're flipping good lovers, those French fry. Yeah, they they, what, they can keep going all night. night. <laughs> <laughs> they keep going all night, don't they, Bri? We know seconds. that for a fact. <laughs> yeah. Couldn't believe it, could we? No. And the next morning, I couldn't look them in the eye the next They morning. were laughing as well because they, and they were waiting for us to wake up and, and, and probably have a laugh like, about it. like you know. But it was just, well, being so, British, it was a bit embarrassing, wasn't it? Well, I'm it? sorry. It's Hello? not anything to do with being British. I only, I only just you don't you invite someone back yeah. to your house, say you can share your room and then flip and go and have a gangbang, do you? Just yeah. like, I can never you know? look at Polly again. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> what was her name? It was like Polly. I can't I, remember. I thought her name was Juliet or something yeah, like that. something like that, wasn't it? And Julie, Julia. Yeah, but oh, it was so embarrassing the next morning. And the worst of it is, is I have to, I had to work a whole ski season yeah. with him. I went home two days later. I know. I never told him. I never said I know everything about you. Yeah. I know, I know everything that you do. I know the time in the lot. Yeah. So it just got me thinking that, that, you know, just about the whole privacy thing and just... Some people, they're just a bit... Some people just don't care, do they? No. But then, yeah, but it's not as bad as Wellington the other day, is it? Why? What do you... And the bin. Oh, don't tell that no, story. No, we won't tell that story. No, don't tell that story. Yeah. That's not a very nice story. No. I've never seen that in my life. Go on then, tell it. No, not Go really. on. Well, it's not really a nice well, why story. why did you say it then? Because I just thought that's what people... Some people just don't care. No, I know. Or they're off their heads or something. I don't know. Yeah. But yeah. yeah. And that's that was on the French thing because we were all in a crep at the time, weren't we? <laughs> A chocolate from crepe. from the little creperie <laughs> that's the whole of the wall in Wellington. Anyway, so that was that story about privacy, which got me on nicely, which leads on nicely actually to our thing about going away. Yeah, and our story about you know just sharing how we came to find this place that we were we're going to be staying. So you know we're big we're big house sitters. We absolutely love trusted house sitters, don't we, Bri? That. that I, can't say enough about this company. No. Um, if you haven't listened to any of our other podcasts, then go back and do so. We've got a great one about how we travel the world for free. And it's all about house sitting. And also, while we're on the house sitting theme, if you want to try house sitting, well, maybe we should tell you our story first. But if you do want to try house sitting, we've got a brilliant discount code for 20% off, haven't we, Brian? Yeah, it's unbelievable. Yeah. yeah. It's not even a night's accommodation. No. That's how, you know, for joining up and stuff like that. And I'll leave that link in the description as well. And that gives you 20% off the yeah. yearly the yearly thing. So a couple of weeks ago, I'm like, oh, we just need to get away. And I wanted something exotic. I just wanted something different. 
I don't know. I just wanted to, we, we, we talked about all different places. Mm. So I went on trusted house sitters and I put our dates in because we want to go away September, October. And I put the house things in, didn't I? And, and, and saw what came up. Yeah. Well, you were doing this by yourself because you didn't tell me. Did no, you? I didn't tell you. And I found this house sit and I was convinced we were going to get it. And yeah. then Brian said to me, where is it? And I said, let me just get it first. Let's just get it first. Yes. You wouldn't tell me what it was. So straight away, I'm like, all right, it's going to be a shoebox or something. Is that what you, you know? thought? But, but I just knew it was going to be different. And talking of transparent houses. Yeah. This house, <laughs> this house that I went for, and unfortunately I didn't get it. We didn't get it. And I was convinced we were going to because, I mean, why wouldn't you want us coming and house sitting there? But, but it, you, you were late to the... Late, late to the party, as they say. I was. It already had three applicants. Yeah. Hadn't Once it? you get more than two, two or three applicants, the people have started acting yeah. on it, haven't they? Anyway, it was in Costa Rica. Yeah. And it was right on the beach in Costa Rica, and it was a. It was a, was it a tree house? It was like a tall. No, it was like a. It was like a pole shed. If you know what a pole shed is, um, you know it's like a barn, but it's made of poles. But imagine the pole shed without any walls. Yeah. Yeah. And it's just had a tin roof, but it was uh, obviously it had, oh, had two, it was gorgeous. Two, it, it had a mezzanine level at the top, didn't yeah, it? Yeah, and it was all open. And in the description, it said, "Come to Costa Rica, um, listen to like the 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 jungle, the sounds of the jungle." Yeah. It was going to be rainy season, so they said it would be really rainy, and you literally you were right on the beach, weren't yeah. you? Yeah. But in the jungle, like yeah. in the background. And this house and the lady had done it really nice. She was like an artist, and there was all like just pretty things around and but it was all open air yeah and yeah yeah uh, and it was but it had a big curtain didn't it it had a massive big curtain that you pulled around the whole house yeah. like 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 you know when you go to a cinema a cinema, a cinema a theater and that 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 was the size of the curtain mm. it was just white but yeah it, and it was about a foot off the ground yeah and she said about you know like the animals there and she said there's lots of insects she said there's snakes and spiders yeah i know what but, fun hey well that's why i didn't tell you because i knew you'd be miserable about it yeah i'm not a great lover of uh, so tell anyway snakes. we didn't get that but in my mind i'd gone there i was already there you know when you like yeah, you you think you're going to get something yeah. and i was like i was there i was i was on the i didn't tell you this but i was on google i was looking up things to do in costa rica and you know food it, in costa rica and it would have been amazing. It would I, I have, have to been admit amazing. That. The only downside I think about it was when you said that it's the rainy season. I bet you thought, I'm not spending another rainy season in this bloody house. Do you reckon? Yeah, I reckon. You know, because mm. realistically. Oh, no, I, I don't think so. I think it would have been romantic. <laughs> yeah, but. I think just imagine being in the rainforest, mm -hmm. all coming down, all let rain, you know, rain coming down. <laughs> That's what rain, the rain does. rain comes down. Yeah, but well, Bri, I think it would well. have been really nice. Yeah, uh, no, I, I, I think it would have been, but it's just, it would have been weird because, like I say, no walls and you're in the jungle and lots of creepy crawlies. And I just think, what would you wake up to on, on your bed? Well, this is why I didn't tell you. Yeah. What would you have done? Yeah. Right, if I'd have said to you, tell me the truth. She did have mosquito nets, I suppose. Yeah, she had mosquito nets, but yeah. tell me the truth. What would you have right. done? I mean, good on you, Bri, because I said, oh, I'm booking, to, I'm, I'm applying for something. And you, I mean, you didn't even say to me, you better tell me what it is because I might not go. You were just yeah. like, okay, well, I'll go, whatever. But what would you have done if I'd have said, Bri, we've got it. We're going to Costa Rica for, I think it was for four weeks, wasn't it? We're going to Costa Rica to a house on the beach in the rainy season and it hasn't got any walls. Yeah. And there's spiders and snakes and, and monkeys just and my stuff. Wetsuit. Would you have been excited? Um, I, yes, you'd be excited that you're going away for because it was like four weeks or yeah. five weeks, wasn't it? I, I would be yes excited because of the trip, but it either be it would either be sort of a wonderful trip that you know this is paradise, um, or it would have been hell. It would have been one or the other. Why would it be hell? Because it could have just been. You know, everything's getting into your food and stuff like that, and all that sort of stuff. I don't know. I, mm. I don't. I, I but I, I would try it. You, know, you would try it. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. that's what I wanted. To, I just wanted an adventure. Anyway, we didn't get that, no. so we were like gutted about that. Well, I was. Yeah. I was like, and Brian was relieved. You haven't got a picture of that one, have you? Neither. No, I haven't. Link to it. No, because yeah, it was. It yeah. was just beautiful. Anyway, we didn't get it, so we were walking along the coastal walkway. We were down on a Saturday, and I said, yep. and the message came through. You've sorry, you've not been chosen for this house. It went ah. Oh. Oh, no, we were driving down to Wellington to see Tess in her show. Yes, it was. Because uh, Tess was, was in that? Wicked, yeah. Yes. And we're driving down to Wellington, it came through. So immediately I said, oh, I'm just going to look for something else. Yep. And I started scrolling through with our dates. Yep. 
Oh, that was the other thing as well. To go to fly to Costa Rica, it was going to cost five and a half grand. Yeah. New Zealand. Yeah, yeah but the, the thing is, is like, you know, for, for my 60th, you, you, you had booked a, a road trip to the Yukon, hadn't you? Yeah. And so we were going to go to, um, we were going to fly to Vancouver. Yeah. Get a four by four. And it was because it's going to be November just before Christmas as well, wasn't it? Mm. Drive up to Dawson City, mm. come back through the Yukon Trail around the yeah. back and come down through all the the, the roads and stuff um, and end up back in Vancouver. I hadn't booked six, it, but I was planning That's on what the it. plan was, yes, wasn't it? A it was, six-week yeah. trip away. Yeah. And we were looking for house sits or cheap places, but that time of year it was just so expensive, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Because it was really obviously expensive. you can't go camping at that time of year because yeah. you can get down to like, you know, minus 20, 30 I don't think we're into that. Well, mm. we're not not in a tent. No, maybe, maybe you know in, in a, a tent. In a, yeah, as I'm saying, camping. You can't exactly go camping. Oh no, you know? no. But no. you you could do it in a you know I don't know. It'd have to be a pretty robust RV. Anyway, so we're driving along on the road, and I said, "It's all right. I'm going to find something else." And I think that was a little bit of a knee jerk reaction, because it was almost yes. like, "Right, fine. If we can't go to Puerto Rico, we'll go somewhere else." And I scrolled up and found one in Vancouver, wasn't it? In uh, Golden. In Golden, that's right, yeah. yeah. In Just, British Columbia. Yeah. and Not far from Banff, it about two hours. It looked absolutely idyllic. It was set on 76 acres of woodland. It was just like the Rockies all behind, wasn't it? Yep. And the more, and, and we, so, so I applied for it. Yep. And, you know, it was looking really positive that we were going to get it because, you know, we were talking to the lady and she seemed to really like us and, and then the more we sat and talked about it, and we've never really done this before. We've never sort of gone back on something that we said that we were going to do. But something just didn't feel quite right, did it? No, because we were going to be staying with friends in Vancouver, weren't we, as yeah. well, for a little while. And, yeah. you know, and they had got back to us in the meantime, hadn't they? And said, yeah, well, you know, it, we just, it, just didn't, it just didn't align, did it? It was no. like, the more we talked about it, the more we were like, oh, you know what? Do we, uh, the, also, the biggest thing for me, and uh, whoops, the biggest thing for me was the weather. Because... I really wanted to go to Canada yeah. if it was freezing cold. I know, and that's like, the if thing, you go isn't in the it? snow, yeah, because yeah, you, you go, go dressed for the occasion, and... don't you? And it's like yeah. if it's in the in between, it's like kind of nothing, isn't it? Like, I know, yeah. and that's what was putting me off. I was thinking, look, we're going to spend again five or six thousand on flights. Yeah. You know, we're going to go over there. Yes, we get to see our friends. You know, yes, we go house sitting, so we're going to save money on yeah. that. But what's the weather going to be like? You know, it's just mm. it's going to be a bit. I don't want to say miserable because it's fall and it, it might. Oh, I'm getting bitten by mosquitoes. I can Maybe feel sun, things biting flies. me. Yeah. Sunflies, yeah. Um, but it, we were just like, oh. So we said no to that. Yep. So here we are now. We have we haven't got Costa Rica. We've said no to Canada. And we were just like, oh. You know, we were getting a bit annoyed, weren't we, Bri? Because we really wanted to go and do something. We really wanted to yeah, go away. Yeah, but it got to the point where it was just like, right, we'll just book a two-week holiday. Yeah, and that's and what we just did. just Airbnb it and, or hotel it or whatever, like, you know. Yeah. And whatever money we were going to spend on flights, we'll spend on uh, B&B, yeah. wasn't it? You know? So last Saturday, oh, well, I thought it was a waste of a day. You know when you have one of those days where you just scroll in the internet looking on Airbnbs? Because like Bryce said, we just said, right, let's take the five grand that we were going to spend on flights and we will pay for accommodation. We'll stay in New Zealand um, and we'll just go on holiday. Like normal people, we'll just go yep. on a proper holiday and we'll pay for it. Yeah. Like I mean, would. that that would work out to around about $300 a night for an Airbnb or yeah. something, wouldn't it? And then, you know, quite just over two weeks or whatever. And it's like yeah. three and a half grand, four grand. Yeah. Yep. But we spent the whole day on Saturday looking through Airbnbs and there was something, obviously something, well, we know now what it was because you know, we've got our perfect place, but something was just saying to us, wasn't it? No, no, no. And every place we found, it was like, yeah, but I don't want to go there because know, of that. It, yeah, and if you if you had five hundred dollars a night, it was that's the place you could I stay. Know, but if I you know. Wanted, it, I mean, realistically, you, know, you start off looking at a hundred dollars. There's absolutely nothing. It's a tent, literally a tent in New Zealand. What for a hundred dollars? Yeah, for a hundred dollars, yeah, literally. Yeah. And so our budget was like three hundred dollars, wasn't yeah. it? And it was just getting what's wrong. That's oh, right. What was that? You just had a creepy crawly crawling up your room. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. so just, yeah. So we we were just getting more and more frustrated. Yeah. And a little bit moody, to be honest, weren't we, Bri? It, we was just getting to the point where, we, it, that, that, you know, because we had this idea we're going away for five or six weeks. And um, then it was getting and it shorter was like, and shorter. shorter. Because, like, well, right, you're going to stay locally and, you know, you've only got so much money that you want to spend on a holiday. And, you know, it it was just like, it got to the point where you just think, 
I don't even want to go now. I know. It did though, didn't it? I know. You know, it's just like, let's just do a couple of long weekends and that's it. I know. You know? And, and we were, we were getting to that point where it was like, we were getting a bit annoyed with each other and it was just, oh, we'll just forget it. And then I had this really good idea to just write down. And I think this is really like, you know, important. Yep. And we talked about it, didn't we? And I said, why don't we just write down all the things that we want out of this holiday? Yeah. For a start, I want Bruno the Frenchman. Yeah. Why not? <laughs> Mr. Marseille. <laughs> yeah. No, we wrote down all the things that we wanted out of the holiday, you know, just for our time away. Um, I wrote down words like, I think I Polly, said... Uh, yeah. Julia. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I said words like sun, warmth. Yeah. Well, that puts Canada out. Well, it know? did really, you know, because it's, it's similar temp- temperature here. We've just gone through the winter and the last thing you want to do is going back to colder weather. And mm. it would be getting to the point where it was like minus four by the time we were coming home. And I put other words, I put space... A final frontier? No, I did. I, w- I just want space. I just want some... S- I don't want to go to, yeah. like, you know, I don't know... Just a hotel room. What do you mean? It's, well, the hotel rooms aren't that big normally, unless you buy and get a suite. I mean, a standard sort of hotel room oh, right, yeah. is like that studio in France, yeah. isn't it? Like, you yeah. Know? yeah, yeah. So I did... I, I, that was one of my things. I just wanted some space. I wanted some warmth. I said, good coffee... I yeah. said somewhere that they do good coffee because that's me Canada and you, out the window, isn't it? Me, no, they do really good coffee in Canada, <laughs> me, and also good food because good food, good food's important. Yeah. Um, what did you say on yours? What What did you have in your little list? Um, Premier League games, lots of soccer, football. Um, it was similar stuff, Liz. It mainly was Don't like copy me. Have some, your own? No, it was. It was somewhere in the morning to go for a good coffee. Yeah. You know that, you, or work in a cafe for the day. You know, because mm. I do like. You know, we, we if we go away for a long time, obviously we have a two week period where we have a holiday, and then the rest of the time we're kind of working, aren't we? Because mm. you've got to keep up with your community and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. So I thought I thought it was a good idea just to write those things down and just say what you know what you wanted. I reckon we're like one of those new age couples now, Bri. What you digital know, like, nomads? You mean? No, no, no. New age? No, new age couples. What the age of Aquarius couples? No, you know couples that like. They sit and write things down that they want from each other. Oh, right. You oh, know? Yeah, yeah. Do you know Actually, what I mean? Yeah, we know about someone like that, don't we? Yeah. Who? Yeah. Um, it, I think it was, it was a good idea. I can't remember. Nic- Nicola, isn't it? Nic- Nic- Nicola? Uh, and you should go away with her husband and they would literally write down the things that they were going to be doing. Yeah. That's the type What of they thing. needed from the relationship. Yes. Like to keep yes. the relationship fresh See, and happy. See, that's what me and, and you don't do a lot of, do we? We don't no. talk enough. No. <laughs> <laughs> Just get a microphone out and let's record yeah, it. Yeah, I know. But no, do you know what I mean, though? I think it's important to just... And that goes back to that thing of having some time on your own and going away on your own. Yeah, with Bruno. I think it's important to just... Yeah, I think it's just important to just express your needs, Bri. Yeah, do you think Bruno will be even older than me now? Oh, shut up. <laughs> what? Are you feeling insecure? No, me? You are, what? you are, aren't you? <laughs> no. Why are you saying that then? No, because I was It'll thinking... It'll just be a little old wizened yeah. Frenchman now, yeah. right? I think Polly you or Julia or whatever now. her name was, she was a lot older than him as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, so anyway, we wrote down these things, didn't we, about all the things that we needed to go away and all our wants and needs and desires. Yeah. And it came up that, okay, well, obviously we can write that out, we can write that place out, we can write that country out, that's too expensive. There's no house sits there, there's no Airbnbs that we like there. Yeah. And then all of a sudden... After I was really frustrated on the Saturday and I'd been a right moody cow because I was just annoyed with Bri because he wasn't taking the... Yeah. I, I just wanted... Not, whoops, not, take, I just, not taking the reins. Well, that's right, Bri. Yeah. You just sometimes, want to be, Yeah, but sometimes you just need someone to say, we're going there, that's mm, it. Yeah. Yeah. And you're both waiting for each other, aren't I know, you? I know. Yeah. I hate that, do you? Yeah. Because you just want the other one to go, right, I'm going to... Well, this is I'll what we're do doing. I'll do this. I'll I know, look after you. I know. Yeah. But neither like of I us... Like I did last year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But neither of us did this time. And no. it was just like, we're both getting more and more frustrated. Anyway, so I just thought, oh, do you know what? I'll look on Trusted House Sitters one more time and I'll just put in our dates and I'll see if anything comes up. Because the thing is, it's that the great thing about Trusted House Sitters, you know, when you go house sitting, yeah. is you're going to get a house or a, your own apartment or whatever. Yes. And it's free. Yep. And so I go on Trusted House Sitters. I'm scrolling up and then all of a sudden, this perfect place. It was almost like the universe had taken that little note that I wrote down with all the things that I wanted on it and the things that you wanted on it. Well, not football because you didn't really write that. But all the things, apart from Bruno, that was on that list and went, there you go. 
here's your place. That was it. And for the time span as well. And for the time span. So we are going to tell you next week. Yeah. <laughs> about our law of attraction. About where we are going to be spending five weeks. Five weeks. Five weeks. On holiday. Yep. Yeah. You're not going to be able to believe it. For free. Yeah. yeah. Apart, well, from untrusted a, apart, from a, apart from a bit of petrol. Do you like how I did that, Bri? Yeah. Because this is what this is what professional people do, you see. They when they when they want people to come back to their show, yeah. they like what's it called when you leave people hanging, you know? Cliffhanger. Hanging. Yeah. Cliffhanger. Yeah. So, so come going? back <laughs> come back next week and we will tell you where we are going house sitting for five weeks. It is the most glorious place. Yeah. An upside toilet. Upside down toilet. Yeah. An upside down toilet made of glass. Yeah, in Japan. With spiders. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So, yeah, that was it. So yeah. that was our story about that's what we've been doing for the last two weeks. And that's that's it's all come to a happy end it, it, because it was we've got unbelievable. what we wanted. The way it came and it just totally expected, but totally unexpected. Yeah. It wasn't so we knew something would just sort of turn up, materialise. And it did, didn't it? I know. Because like, you know, it was either going to be, right, that's it. We're doing Airbnb yeah. or we're doing, you know, Bucking.com or whatever it is. Isn't and it funny? It's I just trusted us it's just yeah. came straight through and it's funny isn't it how sometimes you things are just not going right and you know you 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 instead of just like trusting the universe you know yeah. and thinking it will all be fine you're getting more and more frustrated but you know in your heart we knew that canada wasn't right we knew that it, did. it kept feeling you know, like it just was like going up against the buffer yeah. all the time wasn't and it you, you know didn't, i didn't want it to be i wanted it to be so right yeah because that's what I wanted to do and I could imagine us doing it. But yeah. something inside, I was waking up every day and I was like, no, it's not right, Liz. Don't do it. Don't book those flights. It's not right. Yeah. And something will come up and yeah. something has. Because we were going to go to Nova Scotia at one time, weren't we? Oh, yeah. We were going all over the world. Yeah. And it was just like, oh, I could go there. I we feel like I've been, I'm, I'm knackered, Bri. I've been all over. Yeah. The fall in New England. It was just like everything. But it was just, that's the only trouble with we're coming out of our winter. Because normally you'd be... Oh, I'll leave for the winter and mm. do it the other way around and go to the Northern Hemisphere. But this yeah. is just like, it just, it's worked out perfect. We can't tell you where it is, but. Yeah, well, we're going to next week. Yep. So tune in next week and we will tell you where we're going to be spending our time. Yep. Right, before we share with you our out clips of the audio book, I just wanted to give a big shout out. Me and Bri went on a great podcast last week. Yeah, we did, didn't we? Yes. Called, yeah, it's just been released, hasn't it? Yes, called F&A Van Life. Yes. But it's this couple and they go round in their van and they interview people who make money online and travel. Real nomads. Yeah, yeah. which has been you, and Bri. Not, yeah, and not just nomads, digital nomads as well. Like, yeah. You know, like us. Yeah. So yeah. it was a great interview. So just want to give a big shout out to Frankie and Alex for having us on your show and just letting us chat about our story. And I'll leave the I'll leave the link down down yeah. in the description and, and you can go and check that out. Yeah, because I believe the podcast is only on Spotify. I might be wrong. Oh, and right. they do have a YouTube channel as well, which is not the podcast. Yeah. The podcast is just an audio podcast yeah. like this. Yeah, so... Um, Do you feel like you want to keep looking at the camera, Brian? No, I've not really looked over. I'm looking over at it now. But mm, that's about it, like, yeah, you know? Yeah, no. Yeah. Right, so shall we share the audio? So first of all, yeah. I just want to say thank you so much to all the people <laughs> <laughs> that have bought my travel vlog diaries. I'm holding it up now and I'm putting it in front of the camera. But yeah, the travel vlog diaries book, thank you so much. So many people have reached out and said... Really, really enjoyed the book, Liz. Um, I got a lovely, lovely comment of a lady called Tracy. It made me cry, Tracy, when I read that comment about how you enjoyed the book and you thought I was courageous because I'd put this book out. And she just was so complimentary. Yeah. And it was just the that, most beautiful comment. That's probably one of the nicest comments I've seen on YouTube. Oh, it was. Well, we're just really, really lucky with people. I we're, we're, I don't, yeah. Do you know what it is, Bri? What's that? We're is? happiness magnets. But that's the thing, Liz. If you put it out, like and, little and you, you're just your authentic self, who you are, mm. and that's who you are that you're putting out, then that's what you'll get these authentic people yeah. back. Yeah. I mean, there was one guy called Daniel. I won't say about him, though. No, you did say you weren't going to. Yeah. Anyway, so we're, we've been working on the audiobook. Um, it's nearly done. We're just doing really the, fi the final done. edits now, aren't yeah. we? Which is just pushing gaps further apart and yeah. just get the timing right for the funny stuff. But a couple of weeks ago on the podcast, we shared the outtakes of of one of the audio, you know, on the audio book. Yes, and we had a, a couple of people reach out and just say, "Oh, I loved your 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 thing of the audio book." So we said, "Right, we'll save it right till the very end because if you're still with us on this podcast right mm -hmm. now, then." You are 
truth, true fans. True and you podcast just, fans. Yeah. So yeah. this is a clip from when me and Brian were in England with the kids and I had we had taken them to a festival, a music festival. We we're in a place called Tavistock. Tavi. At, Tavi. And we'd gone to a music festival. And the story is, because obviously we never had any money, I smuggled two bottles of wine into the festival because I didn't want to spend any money at the beer tent. And that chapter is all about just the festival in England, getting drunk, the kids yeah. just being completely and utterly embarrassed by, by yeah. my behaviour. Yeah. yeah. And in this part of the audiobook, I'm describing how, because it was very Devonshire, wasn't it? I mean, it's like it is. they talk very Devonshire. But the, the, the challenge that has been reading this audiobook for me has been doing accents. And the reason it's been a challenge is because I've had Brian Decal on the other side of the door <laughs> taking the mickey out of me every time I try and do an accent. I can hear him giggling. Yeah. And I mean, it just puts yeah. me off. Liz has got headphones so she can hear like I'm talking now. And I, I, I didn't actually, because we've been editing, it's a different track on the audio device that we have. So you don't hear actually my comments, but we could do a special one where we have my comments yeah. on it as well. But I'm basically ribbing Liz in the background saying that is not a Devonshire accent. That's, yeah, that's going, Cornish. That sounds like Benny Hill. Yeah, even and though I'm Devon like, and Cornwall are together. Yeah. So what you're going to hear when it goes well, quiet, the bits that you hear when it goes quiet are the bits where Brian is having a go at me. So this is me. So just imagine we're at the, the festival in Devon. Uh, the, the main act is just about to come on and the old man, he's a little old man and he's on his Zimmer frame and he's on the speaker thing, you know, the, 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 tannoy. the tannoy. And he's telling the festival people all about how the festival is just about to start and the main act is going to come on. So this is me giving a, a good attempt at a Devonshire accent. And is me going to try and play it live on the roadcaster. At half past six, an announcement came over the tannoy. Listen up, folks, frackled a male voice with a heavy Devonshire accent. In 30 minutes, the tribute bands will commence. So let your air down, get your dancing shoes on, and get ready to party like it's 1999. Let's show them how it's done. <laughs> oh, God, <laughs> well, I don't know what Devonshire accent is. Listen up, no, folks. Okay. Listen up, folks, crackled a male voice with a heavy Devonshire accent. In 30 minutes, the tribute bands will... Who? <laughs> In 30 minutes, the tribute bands will commence. So let your air down, get your dancing shoes on, and get ready to party like it's 1999. Let's show them how it's done. <laughs> Let's show them how it's done, Taffy. Oh, a cheer went up. The butterflies in my stomach fluttered. How exciting, how trippy and kicky and cool. That was a lot of fun, yes. wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> so now you know how flipping hard it is just to do that. that when, when people say, why is it not ready yet, this audiobook? It's like, that's just like three lines I and know. it took me three attempts to do it. Yeah. But it was such a good laugh doing it. It so was. I hopefully it's been, enjoyed that. Yeah. I and mean, it's great because then you relive it again when you edit it and I do know. it. And, and it's just, it's been a great experience hasn't it hey? just yeah, to be doing that and, you know working together side by side and getting those edits right and mm. stuff and just everything that we're doing with it and it's well done on you for because you keep saying to yourself don't you i can't believe that you know you've written this and now you've um performed it as well yeah yeah, yeah. no and also by well done to you yeah well done to you it's not all about me this is about no, you no this is about so you, you Brian. no 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 this is about you yes it's about you oh it's about me now well done Brian. okay i'll tell you what bruno has got nothing on you don't yeah. ever forget that yeah. <laughs> so thank you so much for joining us we're going to let you know when that audiobook is available to buy only a few more weeks and you'll be able to get your ears around that yeah. mic, uh, uh, those headphones and listen to all that 
In the meantime, don't forget that if you would like to join Trusted House Sitters, we have got a very special 20% discount for you, which gives you, it gives you, it's about $120 a year. And you get access to all the houses around the world that you want to house mm-hmm. sit on. So if, you, if you're doubting doing it, just remember that $120, it doesn't even buy you a first night's accommodation. It's an it absolute doesn't. bargain, this yeah. thing. And you know that we do it. So we wouldn't promote it if we, if we didn't love it as much, uh, love it so much. So yeah, you can go down to the description below and maybe on YouTube, Brian will put a link and we can give you that discount to go and try out Trusted House Sitters. Yeah. So I, we really hope that you've enjoyed this video version of our podcast. Um, thank you so much for being with us. Thank you so much for your support, just for joining us in this conversation every week, uh, just for being the person you are. You are so lovely and we appreciate you taking the time to just tune in and be with us. Yeah. So until next time, I will speak to you soon. Yeah, so thanks very much. Don't forget to leave us a comment, leave us a five-star review, please, if possible. and. Let us know where you listen to this podcast because, you know, some people, like say, Sunday mornings and things like that. So just give us an idea and then, um, you know, we'll, uh, I don't know, we won't change, but we'll just, you know, give you a shout out or something like that. Just give us a review. That's all we want, right? Just say that. Just say give us a review. Give us a review and we'll read it out. Yes. 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 Yeah. So don't forget, kia kaha, stay strong, kia u, stay true. And we'll see you soon. Okay. From our house set. See you soon. Bye. Bye. Oh, life in New Zealand. New Zealand summer, down the beach with a barbecue, sitting, chilling back, eating lots of lovely kiwi food. But what they don't tell you is what's really going on in New Zealand in the summer. We're just sitting there, minding our own business, and all of a sudden we hear this screech of tyres and the woman running out of the garage after them, shaking her fist like this. Come back here! Come back here, you! In this week's show, you will find out whether life in New Zealand is this blissful summer oasis or if people are stepping on eggshells and finally starting to crack.